In this tutorial, we're going to dive deep into community templates and learn what they are, how they work, and what benefits creators can gain from them. You'll learn how to create much loved and easy to use templates, how to share or sell your templates, how to get featured on the ReadyMag website and get extra visibility. Let's get started. This is the templates page, a gallery of ready to use layouts in various formats that you can change and mix to suit your needs. These templates come from two sources, the ReadyMag team and the community. There's a filter that sorts them by purpose, source, and pricing. With the source filter, you can sort out the community templates. On this page, community templates are customizable designs made by anyone, but approved by ReadyMag to appear on this page. Some templates are free, some are paid, and all are fully editable. Later in the video, we'll tell you how to submit your template and get featured on this page. Let's filter templates by community and paid. Here's an example called Paper Archive by St. Helena Studio for $20. Hovering over the creator's name links to their portfolio. On the right, you'll see a contact button. That's for any questions for the designer and a brief description of the template, followed by a tag of the template type. Lower down, you can choose to preview and buy the template. If you scroll down, you'll see an overview of all the templates pages. If you are logged in, the Submit Template button takes you to a list of your published projects. From here, choose the project you want to submit. Check that it meets the requirements, then hit Publish to send it for review. That's how community templates look in the ReadyMag template gallery. Now, let's talk a bit about the benefits of creating templates. Anyone can design a template to showcase their creativity, share their work, and even monetize their design skills. So there are two ways you can publish your templates, share them for free or sell them. By publishing templates for free, you contribute to the community, grow your audience, build reputation, and invite new paid opportunities. By selling your templates on third-party e-commerce platforms, you earn money. All you need to do is convert your project, set it to paid, link it to an e-commerce platform, and share the template through your channels. All of the money is yours. ReadyMag takes zero commission. If you submit it to the templates library and it's approved by ReadyMag, your design will be featured on readymag.com slash templates, which thousands of designers and potential clients visit weekly. It will also be promoted on our social media and through our newsletter. One more benefit, your templates automatically enter the referral program. Each template has a built-in referral link. If someone signs up and purchases a plan after using your template, you'll earn discounts through the program. To convert a project into a template, go to your chosen project, open the settings panel on the bottom right dock, and look for the toggle labeled convert to template. Once it's activated, a few new fields will show up. Views and copies. This counter lets you track how many people have visited or duplicated your template. Use this counter to see how your template performs. Metrics update automatically once your template is public. Template link. This is a public link and following it allows others to preview your template before copying or buying it. The access link gives direct access to copy the template into another ReadyMag account. Finally, in the price field, you can choose whether to share your template for free or set a price in USD, EUR, or GBP. To convert your project into a template, you need to publish it first. If you edit it later, remember to hit republish so your changes are reflected in the live template too. When you no longer want the project to be a template, turn off the convert to template toggle, then hit republish again to revert it back to a regular project. If you remove the template status, your project will no longer be available as a template, but can continue working as a regular website. If you've reached your published project quota, you'll need to unpublish the website. In this case, the project will no longer be accessible as a template or a regular website. On the free plan, you can publish one community template. On paid plans, the limit is up to 20 templates. Templates don't count towards your regular published website quota. They're counted in a separate category. Now it's time to dig into the best practices for template design. The ReadyMag templates page is curated by the team and features high quality, original, and easy to adapt designs that others can build on. Here are some recommendations that will help you create a sleek, must try template that will be approved to land in ReadyMag's template library. Even if you don't plan to submit your design for review, these are the best practices for any template design. Let's start with the layout. Here are the key things to keep in mind. Maintain a consistent visual style, include layouts for all devices, avoid repetitive pages, make your template easy to customize. Let's walk through a real example. Right away, we can see a cohesive style, from the bold color palette to custom paper textures. This consistency helps make the project feel intentional, rather than pieced together. To make sure your project looks great everywhere, add and adjust layouts for the screen sizes your audience is most likely to use. Use the preview button to see how your design looks on real devices. It's an easy way to double check spacing, scaling, and overall fit before you publish. Clicking through the pages, you'll notice that each one is distinct, not just a slight variation of the same layout. This variety makes the template more multi-purpose and easier to adapt. This template is easy to work with. Its layout is clear and adaptable. The handmade paper texture is used consistently across pages, gluing the visual identity together without overcomplicating it. Zooming in, you can see the visuals here are high res and original. 
No presets or copied components here, just custom-made assets that fit the project. The typography is also structured and easy to read. The heading is large and inviting, and the body text is smaller but still clear. This hierarchy helps the layout feel readable and well-organized. Only two font sizes are used throughout the project, one for headings, the other for body text. This way, the overall design feels cohesive and easy to scan. Finally, use effects and animation purposefully to enhance storytelling or highlight content. Avoid adding animations just for decoration. Notice how the row of paper textures is animated in the same motion and timing. It's simple, consistent, and aligned with the entire design language. Now that we've looked into the visual and structural side of things, let's shift into the more technical side of what makes this template easy to use. If we open the layers panel, you'll see that everything is built with ReadyMag native elements, text blocks, images, and buttons with no custom code or embeds. This way, the layout stays clean and fully responsive if redesigned. Use the right widgets for the content, the text one for text and the image one for images, so the others will get a clean, easy to edit layout. To keep things tidy, clear out anything you're not using. To do this, click the three dots in the layers panel and select remove unused. This action will also remove hidden widgets. If we go into the project settings, you'll see that the template has a custom title and description, which is essential not just for the order, but also for helping users understand what the template is for. If we click this text box, we'll see that it uses fonts from the ReadyMag library, which are available to all users. So if someone copies this template, they won't run into issues with custom fonts. This template uses ReadyMag's text styles, so any font changes can be made simultaneously throughout the project. This move keeps things consistent and easy to update. Make sure to remove default styles that could cause display inconsistencies. Clicking on an element, we can also see the color swatch. Use global color swatches so that others can switch colors with ease. When we switch to the mobile layout, everything adjusts cleanly. The content stacks vertically and there's no overlapping or broken spacing. In terms of layers, everything is well-structured and clearly labeled. Some desktop elements are hidden to support the mobile layout, a common practice to keep things responsive and organized. At the top, we can see how navigation is set up using the on all pages and above pages options. This arrangement makes key links like the site name Green Nation that take you back to the homepage, stay visible and easy to access no matter where you are. When you click on preview, you can see the links and buttons are clearly defined. They also have hover states that define what's clickable. Small details like these can make your template feel polished and ready to use right out of the box. When you click on the mobile menu, you can see that all the buttons are functional and lead to the correct pages. Make sure everything works smoothly on desktop and mobile. This includes checking that menus and buttons are fully functional on smaller screens. If needed, you can make tablet-specific tweaks. Finally, let's take a quick look at content and its accessibility. This website is a good example of content that's easy to read and understand. The copy, from project descriptions to category titles, uses simple, straight-to-the-point language. Choose a unique, descriptive name for your template. In this case, Portfolio Workbench feels distinct and purposeful. It tells you exactly what it's for without overlapping with generic or existing category names. Scrolling down, you'll see that all visuals are appropriately licensed or created specifically for this template. Go with the same approach so there's no risk of copyright issues. When we click around, all the internal links, like the menu, go exactly where you'd expect. Everything's been checked to ensure smooth and reliable navigation. Double check yours. As you go through the template, you'll notice everything is entirely written out. There's no placeholder copy, just real content that feels complete. Avoid using visuals that are inappropriate or exclusionary. Your template should be accessible and welcoming to a broad audience with no political or religious references, explicit content, or discriminatory language. And that's what makes a great community template. Thoughtfully designed, easy to use, and ready to build on. If you check all of these boxes, your template will stand out and prove useful to the design community. You can always find up-to-date template requirements in ReadyMag's help section. You can sell your template using platforms like Shopify, Gumroad, or Lemon Squeezy. No approval is needed from ReadyMag to sell templates on your own. Just convert your project, set it to paid, and add your purchase link. Let's look at a quick example. This template is being sold with Gumroad. To sell on Gumroad, you'll first need to create a Gumroad account and set up your profile. On the Gumroad homepage, click Products in the left-hand menu. Next, click New Product. Add a name for your template and choose Digital Product as the type. Scroll down and set your pricing. Once you've added your details and price, publish the product. You'll now see your template listed in the Gumroad dashboard along with the share link, price, and sales status. You can then copy the share link and paste it into your ReadyMag project settings. Each platform may have a slightly different publishing or purchase flow, so make sure to double check the process on the platform you're using. To manage your payments, go to Settings in the left-hand menu of your Gumroad homepage. Open the Payments tab. Here, you can choose how often Gumroad pays you and set a minimum payout threshold. 
You can also choose your payout method here. If you're using a bank account, enter your account details and select your account type, individual or business. If using PayPal, enter your PayPal email along with your account details. Click Update Settings to save. Gumroad will transfer your earnings directly to your chosen payment method once you meet the payout threshold. Now, we'll see how to submit templates to the ReadyMag Templates Gallery. Why submit? Getting featured in the gallery gives your template extra visibility among peers, potential clients, and potential buyers if you sell it. Before submitting, make sure your template follows all guidelines, three categories of which we covered earlier. Next, open your project's settings panel, go to Export and Submit, and click on Templates. This action will open the submission form. At the top, type in the name of your template. Make sure the name is unique, memorable, and not already used in the titles of other templates from the ReadyMag gallery. The template's name is what everyone sees first when browsing templates, so clarity is key. Think of it like a pitch. This version clearly communicates what the template is and who it's for, and gives a sense of its overall aesthetic. Then you should choose the categories that best match your template. In this case, we can check the portfolio and landing page. You can select multiple, but don't over tag, just add what's relevant. These tags help users discover your template. You can also add a custom tag if you like. Next, decide if your template is free or paid. If you select free, you're all set. If you choose paid, two new fields will show up, one for the price and one for the purchase link from third-party platforms. Even if you've marked your template as paid, users will still be able to preview it first. When they choose to buy it, they'll be directed to the external purchase link you added during the submission process. Finally, upload a preview. It can be a screenshot of your site or anything that gives people a quick sense of what your template is about. Once everything's filled out, give it a final check for typos or missing info, then hit submit. The review process may take up to 21 days and our team will update you by email. If your template is approved, it'll become publicly available in ReadyMag templates. Other creators will be able to use it as a starting point for their own projects. You might also receive a request for changes from our design team. This means a few tweaks are needed to make your template easier to use. If your template isn't accepted, you can still sell it on your website, social media, and other platforms of your choice. You can also double check the guidelines, make some changes, and resubmit your project anytime. And that's it. Whether you're designing templates to share your ideas, streamline your workflow, or earn from your creativity, you're all set to start publishing your own. If you have any questions along the way, just email support at readymag.com. We're happy to help. Thanks for watching and here's to your future designs.